Good morning, guys. Hot Mess Express coming at you. It is time to get the kids up now, so I just cannot stand. Like, look how dark it is. Oh, you can kind of see my reflection. Hi, reflection. If you look past my reflection, you can't look past my reflection. Not that you guys don't know what it's like with it being dark, um, like in the morning times, but it's just hard to get up when it's this dark like look at that and if you guys seen that video my update video um, where I said I lost five pounds in one day and there was like these green lights coming on my face it's from our fake Christmas lights thing because we don't put up Christmas lights because that's too much work and yeah so I'm gonna wake the kids up now and get today started oh but before I do wave myself y'all almost another four pounds down it's crazy yeah that's crazy 3.8 pounds approximately so yeah after basically two full days of changing anyways i gotta wake up my kids because they gotta get ready for school so this little one ended up in my bed because about four or something this morning she wiggled out her tooth i don't know how in the middle of the well early early morning she wiggled out her teeth Naomi good morning baby morning. how you doing you sleeping it's time to, it's time to get up mama wakey wakey I try not to turn the lights on in their room <laughs> because they don't like it I turn the hall light on and let that kind of get them going good morning you were awake this whole time? Oh. I heard you talking. Oh, well, good morning. Mm. How come you're laying this way now? It's more comfortable. Really? Okay, well, time to get up, baby. Good morning. I can't see us all. Good morning, baby. Good morning. I love you. I love you. You sleep good? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, it's garbage day. I gotta take the garbage out. Yo, is this real life? Like, Target's parking lot? Ooh, so bad. Don't follow my example by skipping over all these lines, guys. Oh my gosh, so bad. Anyways, this is the emptiest I've ever seen this Target parking lot if it's not like 11 o'clock and about to close. Lucky. There's really no good way to do this and I don't want anyone to see me because I'm in the parking lot of Target. Okay, I guess we'll see how this goes. I almost started crying guys because <laughs> this is so, so crazy. So a few days ago, I lost my debit card and I was like freaking out obviously. I mean, I, I knew it wasn't hadn't been missing long and I didn't really feel like I left it anywhere, but I had frozen it or whatever so that hopefully if I found it, I could just unfreeze it and I didn't have to order a new card. So anyways, I was like low key like kind of like stressed out about it and I was like I'm here at Target. I had to make a couple returns. Luckily, I have all the receipts, but usually when I return to Target, I just use my debit card or whatever card I purchased it on because it's just easier than keeping up with the receipt, right? But luckily for these returns, I have the receipt. So I was going to do that and I was like, let me just look in the car because I went through my wallet, I went through my purse, I went through everything. Like there's, I don't know how I could have misplaced it, you know? And so um, I was like, let me just look through the car one last time and if it's not in here, I'm just gonna have to cancel it and order a new one so I can have a new one. And so <laughs> I go through the car awkwardly because the car over here is parked all extra close on the line trying to look through this side on the side of the, the car underneath in the back all that good stuff oh gosh there's a person right here um so awkward and so um more people it's a parking lot jade what do you expect let me hurry up so basically i'm looking i'm like i don't see it and i'm just like fml I guess I'm just gonna have to order a new card, whatever. And so I start to get out, I get ready to close the door, and then I'm like, oh shoot, let me grab my little list I made of things that I need to grab. I open the door awkwardly, yet again, to grab the, the note, and then it like slips over to the other side. And I'm like, really, like seriously? And of course, I can't just like reach it easily because of all this stuff I got over here. And so I'm like, maybe that just fell because I was meant to find my debit card over there. Tell me why my debit card right as i look literally look over it's like right in the little corner like standing up this way and i'm just like oh my goodness like i literally think this fell for a reason 
that's so dramatic but for real i was like oh my god i knew it this just because you know how sometimes it's like one thing after the other and you're just like seriously but then i was like you know what i feel like this fell for a reason i think i'm gonna find my debit card i mean this was a really brief thought it wasn't like i was like contemplating it a lot but anyways i just want to share that with you guys because i got hella happy and i was like oh my god i want to cry <laughs> such a baby but i'm gonna run into target now and do my returns i'm happy now yay I got oh shit i just <laughs> i just honked the horn <laughs> on accident and there was a dude walking and he was like oh, okay let me put this down so i have this habit when i go to the gym of like sitting in the car for a good 10 15 minutes or so if i have time um before i actually go in and start working out i don't know why it's not like i i'm dreading going in or anything but i'm glad i did it today because i was just literally getting out the car and i like see a whole bunch of people standing outside the front door and apparently the fire alarm's going off and I would have had to get out anyways in the middle of my workout and I wouldn't have been happy. It's like I wouldn't have really cared, but you know, at least I didn't like get started and get interrupted. But it looks like a lot of people are leaving, but I'm assuming that they'll probably fix it if it's not a real fire. I guess we're gonna find out. There's a fire truck right there. So, ooh, hello. <laughs> oh my God. problems y'all I have problems um I'm gonna wait like a few minutes and see what happens because I was only going to, I was only gonna do an hour today anyways because um my kids get out of school early today and they have like a concert tonight and I had to run do the return I also went to Walmart and to the dollar store so I had like some running around to do and I don't want to be too crunched for time because I'm gonna need to you know you know do the stuff all the stuff so yeah, I'm just going to wait here for a few more minutes and see what happens. Hopefully we can go in because I do still want to get a, at least an hour workout. And if not, then I'll make sure for sure I do something at home because I don't want to mess up this roll I'm on. Day three. I'll let you guys know what happens. So, I made it in the gym. I felt like a really dedicated gym person waiting outside. Well, actually, I waited in my car, but waiting for the gym to open. So, I'm going to go to about an hour maybe an hour and a half of cardio i always go into the handicap bathroom if you can, in case you guys are wondering that's where i always go to the bathroom before i start working out so that i don't have to pee in the middle and mess up and stuff and also a little trick if there's no place to hang your purse or your bag in these types of bathrooms hang it on the door Voila, that's what I do. Cause I ain't putting my stuff on the bathroom floor. No, 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 no. We won't be doing that. Don't do that, y'all. Gonna get my headphones going and then go get started cause I've been delayed a lot. All right, I'm back home now. Um, Yeah, it was an interesting workout to say the least. I, for some reason, it was just like, tougher for me to like get through it i only did an hour in like the past couple days and a lot of other times i go to the gym i do two hours but this time i don't know if it's just because i woke up super early or what it was but yeah like i felt like i was sweating a little bit more than normal and then like my chest kind of started feeling weird which doesn't i don't like that like that's not good like that's not cool with me especially obviously like taking the fentramine stuff like that can come up as far as like sim or not symptoms but like a uh, side effect is like uh heart racing or other weird and it's not that i felt like it was racing it just i don't know it felt like a weirdness in my chest and so i'm gonna see how the rest of today goes and um if this continues or i don't know i'm thinking about maybe doing a day without fentramine tomorrow and seeing how it goes because i don't like that like i haven't really experienced that since taking this and it might maybe it's just because i'm overdoing it i woke up super early so i didn't get as much sleep obviously the past two days i've been going really hard and then not eating a lot so whatever we'll just see but anyways i'm back home now i'm waiting uh kids get out in like an hour and a half they have an early release today um, but I was going to show you guys really quick what I got from the Dollar Tree because I went to the dollar store and also what I got from Target. You know, little Dollar Tree, Target haul just because whatever. Milani and Romero have a uh, concert tonight and so they can wear holiday dress. So I went to the dollar store and also to Walmart to get some stuff for that. Um, and so from the dollar store I got 
couple little headbands. This one with candy canes, these little antlers. We have a snowman, reindeer. This way they have options, okay? It's a dollar store. You know, you just see it, you grab it. It's a dollar, whatever. I know, it's so bad. That's how they get you, right? Um, and then I also just got this plain t-shirt, which I didn't even know that they sold t-shirts at the dollar store, but I had bought a plain red t-shirt for a Romero in case he wanted to wear just a regular red t-shirt rather than the other one um, at Walmart. But that was like $3.47, which isn't bad for a t-shirt, but if I could get one for a dollar, why not okay this is so random i bought this while i was waiting in line but these little things go over your keys like they're little cactuses <laughs> isn't that cute this is like my favorite this is so cute <laughs> look at this oh my gosh is that extra or what <laughs> i actually got two of them but opening the bag look at that one of the bulbs is missing and i know i didn't buy it like that because i wouldn't have i i know better than I'm okay. I know better than that. So I might, if I don't find the little bulb for that, I'm probably gonna have to take that back. And then I got two of these little Jingle Bell necklaces. It has two, two beads. Then I got these little miniature candy canes for Naomi's class because they're making gingerbread men. And then look at this. I just got this little uh, floor mat. It says welcome. Just, I mean, I thought it was cute for just a dollar. Shirt for Romero. This is the red shirt I was talking about, but I'm going to take it back now since I got the other one. And then I also got him this one in case he wanted to wear this one. This is a little Christmas shirt. It says, oh, snap. And it was $5.88. And then also the little um, uniform skirts were on clearance for $3. So I got some of those. I seen this dress and I thought it was cute. And that way it's like something she could also wear again rather than like something too Christmassy. I bought this little tablecloth, which I probably will take back. I bought this tablecloth because y'all, my kids didn't messed up my table. It, it just is what it is. It's okay. I'm not really mad about it. They're kids. We messed it up too. It's just whatever, you know? But this tablecloth has like these Christmas trees. So I was thinking about trying it and just seeing how I feel about it. It's a vinyl tablecloth, which I kind of feel like it's kind of grandma-ish, but it's easy to clean up. So we're gonna try it and then i bought marshmallows for the class party peppermints for the class party some what is this called frosting for the class party juice for lunches this is the kind my kids like for some reason i bought these little earrings from walmart just to wear for the holidays so that's the haul ain't it fun seeing what other people buy i don't know why it is or maybe it's not i'm sorry hopefully if you didn't enjoy it you just skipped through it all right so i'm gonna go edit some videos i'm gonna edit for a little bit so it's time to get the kids grab them take a shower get them set actually get them settled take a shower and we'll be doing like homework and all that stuff and then we just have the concert later tonight so we'll probably eat dinner a tiny bit earlier so that we can get there on time actually we've got to get there early because i don't know about you guys but like my biggest fear is going to one of my kids events and not having a good seat like not being able to see well or like being really far back oh my gosh like that just stresses me out i have to be close i have to be able to take pictures and videos and stuff so i like to try to get there early like that's like the one thing you will see my family showing up early for is like when we have to grab some seats somewhere because otherwise a lot of times we're kind of late but anyways okay done with that gonna go get to work and check in with y'all later and if i eat anything i will let you know because i'm thinking maybe i should have just like a small bite to eat i did eat a granola bar i don't know if i told you that but my husband was like you better eat something and i was like okay i'll eat half a granola bar he's like no you need to eat the whole granola bar and you need to start eating a little bit more food it's okay to eat the food. i'm like i know but i'm just trying to keep the calories low as low as i can get it at least for the jump start and then i'm gonna start incorporating like a higher calorie count but with healthy foods that's the plan but i get what he's saying and so I, I i ate the whole little tiny granola bar i am talking for so long i'm done talking um but if i eat anything i'll let you guys know what do you think milani which one do you want to wear this one that one yeah i love this one i almost didn't even get that one but we can wear one of these necklaces mm -hmm. which one do you like naomi this one you like the candy canes? Yeah. Your birthday, huh? Nobody likes this one? Yeah, I do. Yeah, me too. One of them is broken. I know, I'm mad. I have to take it back. Look. Whoa. I want that one. Bye. 
Are you shy of the camera? He acts shy of the camera. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he can. How's your day? Good. Look at how handsome my son is. Look at his glasses. So cool. <laughs> Why are you taking them off? You don't want to wear them on the video? Can I put this on YouTube? Is that a cake? Said this was Get mine. No. Okay. That's mine. I want to. I love you. Can I or no? If you don't want to be on the video. Excuse me. Oh. And then and then cake. It's up to you. I don't want to do it if you're. Are you making cake? No, like I'm not. Can put Why is there frosting? I can. Uh -huh. You can be on my channel. <laughs> Why? They're gonna eat a snack, which will be the rest of their lunch, right? Right. And then another snack if they still are hungry. And then I'll be taking a shower. Did you give your teacher that paper? Why? Because. Because what? <laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot. How did you forget it was in your hand? I'm kidding. You did? Yeah. Of course you did. Thank you. Oh, so cute. Candy cane girl. I like. Thank you. And I can fit oh, no. Hey! Ow! Oh! Oh, I'm getting a cramp in the back of my leg. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, I started to get a cramp. That wasn't good. No. Yeah, I gotta clean all this stuff up now. <laughs> it's a hot mess. So, it's... 3.36 and I'm about to eat some scrambled eggs, oh my gosh, yum, with some of the store-bought pico minus the jalapenos because those are too hot for me. But anyway, so I'm about to eat this because I'm feeling pretty hungry actually. I took a shower, I didn't do my hair or nothing, I finished getting ready but I did take a shower. But I'm really hungry actually and I'm pretty tired. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this, I think this will probably refuel me up but yeah see like typically i wouldn't be tired around this time after venture meet you know so i guess we'll see but we eat this about to be so good God, so good that's the thing when you haven't been eating like the simplest things now are like just so good and amazing and delicious so i'm gonna enjoy this but i want to show you guys really quick what i was going to be eating uh, this is a lot of talking to a camera i don't know what's going on guys but I'm like low-key in that weird little mood again. I don't know what is wrong with me. I don't know why, like, I don't know. I'm starting to wonder if it's like, cause it started around like three or four. I'm starting to wonder if it's like, has to do with the fentermine, which bear with me. Yes, I did do this before, but I don't know. I just feel like almost like a downer, like a downer comes over me or something. This is kind of how I was feeling the other day and it's so weird and I'm not normally like this so I don't know we have the um concert to go to so I'm excited and happy for that um but I might I might just end this video here and I also feel like I want to just like eat regularly you know like not I don't necessarily feel like I want to eat really bad but just like not not eat you know what I mean and I think it's due to my agitation and I'm not it's not even agitation I can't explain it it's just due to this like mood or whatever that I'm stuck in for whatever reason so we'll see how the rest of the night goes but those eggs was really were really good but not really sure if I'm gonna eat anything else I might have some apples later actually maybe apples with some peanut butter maybe or maybe just apples probably but anyways I think I'm just gonna call it a night um yeah 